Hey, what's up, guys? This is Eric Fasquez and Yoda from TeachMeToDesign.com, and today is day 17 in our 30 Tips in 30 Days video series. And you may be outside taking photos sometimes and ending up with a dismal and gloomy looking sky in your photos, but I'm going to show you how you can swap that out in favor of a blue, cheerful, vibrant sky. Alright, so you'll see here I've got this image open in Photoshop of a tall skyscraper against a, a white sky. Now this technique that I'm going to show you guys works really well for images like this where it's kind of overcast and gloomy. But basically uh, all you need to do is create a new layer and we're going to select a blue color. Doesn't really matter you know, if it's, if it's perfect sky color or not because we can always come back and adjust it. But um, you want to take a large soft edge brush, maybe with around 50% opacity, and just begin uh, brushing in anywhere where there would be, you know, uh, a clear sky. All right, and it's okay if you're, you know, painting over the edges. You don't have to be too, you know, precious about it or anything like that. Um, I just want to show you guys how this works. So once you've covered, you know, most of the area with with blue, um, go ahead and double click on this layer to bring up the uh, layer style dialog box. Now from here we're going to go to the underlying layer and move these sliders from the left to the right and you can kind of see what's happening. It's starting to uh, bring some of the, the black and the darker colors back out. All right, And then you want to hold down the Alt Option key to split the sliders apart and continue to move the right one a little bit more to the right and the left one a little bit more to the right, almost so they're they're all the way to the edge. But you can see how that's you know doing a really nice job of, of blending this color in. Obviously, it's way too uh, you know way too bright and vibrant, so we're going to lower the opacity of the the uh, new sky color to around 60 percent, 50 percent, just to make it look a little bit more believable. Um, but if you're not totally satisfied with the color, you can always come down here to the uh, adjustment layer menu and select a hue saturation adjustment layer and just make sure that it has a clipping mask applied to it so that you're only affecting the color of the sky. And you can see maybe you want it to have a little bit of a purple tint or make it lighter. You know, you can, you know, just move this around with the slider. It's, you know, super easy. Um, you know, desaturating it pretty much looks like our original image, but um, you can see how quickly and easily that is to just, you know, bring a sky back into an image. Um, you know, you might have some great building photos or city shots that, you know, were just taken on a rainy day, you know, and, and you want it to look a little bit more, you know, happy. Um, that's an easy way to do it. So I hope that you guys found this tip useful. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please go ahead and sign up for our newsletter and let us know how we can help you design better.